What do you mean by a push-pull class B power amplifier? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask us about that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term push-pull class B power amplifier? Well, let's find out. So, we know for a fact that a class B power amplifier is an amplifier which uses one transistor. So here, in the case of a class B power amplifier, when we give an input signal like this, then we get an amplified output signal in only one half of this particular input signal. So that is, for this particular first half, we'll get an amplified signal like this. But in the second half, we will not get anything like this. So if this is the input signal like this, you would observe that only for one particular half, we'll get an output signal. And for the next half, we'll get an output signal like this. Next half, we'll get an output signal like this. So only for one particular half, we'll get an output signal. But the other half, you'll not get anything across the output. That is simply what you call as a class B power amplifier. So therefore, in order to get an output for both these input halves, that is for this half as well as this half, we use two transistors. This is simply what you refer to as a push-pull class B power amplifier. So a push-pull class B power amplifier is simply a class B power amplifier that uses two transistors so that we would get an output for both the input halves. So in the case of a push-pull class B amplifier, you would get an output here as well like this. Here also we get an amplified output like this. So for both these halves, we're getting an output, an amplified output over here. So this is simply what you call as a push-pull class B power amplifier. So here the name push-pull is given because one transistor is pushed into conduction, whereas the other transistor is pulled out of conduction for every half of the input. That is, for the first half, this transistor might be pushed into conduction, whereas this would be pulled out of conduction. And hence the name push-pull class B power amplifier. So this here is a circuit diagram of a push-pull class B power amplifier. So here we can see that there are two transistors, Q1 and Q2. So here the input signal is given through a transformer called T1. Here this is the primary winding and this is the secondary winding. So this transformer T1 is also known as a phase splitter. So this is called a phase splitter because it splits the input signal into two halves. So here if this is VAO and if this is VBO, then the phase splitter is splitting this particular input signal into two halves. VAO and VBO, where VAO is exactly 180 degrees phase shifted with VBO. That is why it is called a phase splitter. So it splits the input signal into two halves, where one half is exactly 180 degrees phase shifted with the other half. So now, let us now consider the working of this particular push-pull class B power amplifier. So here, for this push-pull class B amplifier to work, we need to provide a certain biasing voltage known as VCC over here, like this. So here, when no input is applied, we see that both Q1 and Q2, they both, they won't take any particular power from VCC. But now, let us assume that we give a positive, the positive half of an input cycle. So here, if this is the input, let this be the output. So here, during the positive half of an input signal, we observe that VAO is positive, whereas VBO is negative. And therefore, if VAO is positive, then this Q1 transistor is now in the forward biased condition. And since VBO is negative, this Q2 transistor is now reverse biased. So here, since this is forward biased, this is in the on condition. And since this is reverse biased, this is in the off condition. So therefore, current IB flows like this. And also a particular current IC flows like this. And therefore, there will be a flow of current like this. And here, this transistor T2 couples this particular winding 
with the load resistor RL over here and therefore across the particular load resistor we get an amplified output like this. So similarly during the negative half cycle of the input signal we see that VBO is positive whereas VAO is negative. In that kind of a case Q2 is forward biased whereas Q1 is reverse biased. In that case we see that Q2 is in the on condition whereas Q1 is in the off condition and therefore a current flows through Q2 like this. And hence, because of this, this particular transformer is coupled to this particular load resistor and thus we get an amplified output like this across the load resistor. This thus is the simple working of what you refer to as a push-pull class B power amplifier. So here, as the name suggests, in the positive half cycle, this transistor is pushed into the conduction state whereas this transistor is pulled out of the conduction state. Whereas in the negative half cycle, this transistor is pushed into the conduction state whereas this transistor is pulled out of the conduction state. And hence because of this, we get an output for the entire input signal like this. So here we need a push-pull class B power amplifier because a class B power amplifier is around 78.5% more efficient than other amplifiers. So therefore if we use a push-pull class B power amplifier, we would get a much more efficient way of amplifying an input signal. So that is why we use a push-pull class B power amplifier. So this does is simply what you refer to as a push-pull class B power amplifier. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have clear understanding of what you refer to as a push-pull class B power amplifier. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting the subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.